Miami, Florida, December 21st, 2013. A robot named Chimp is now beginning his second day of competition in the DARPA Robotics Challenge Trials. He currently stands in a four-way tie for ninth place in a competition in which the eight teams with the highest point totals will receive $1 million each to compete in the finals in 2015, and ninth and below get nothing. CMU NREX Tartan Rescue Team, who created it, will be competing as well. A year or so earlier, no one on the team had any experience in humanoid robotics, and no one had dreamed of either the team or Chimp. So, in December 2012, NREC had to assemble a team of humanoid robotics novices which could design, manufacture, build, and program a robot from scratch in a year to compete with teams which in some cases had been developing humanoid robots for more than a decade. Chimp was fully assembled in the beginning of November, leaving less than six weeks to get him to perform the tasks he would be judged on. The software team was just working continuously, day and night, getting every single ounce we could get out of utility on that robot. And the clock was ticking. Ready or not, on December 14, 2013, the team had to pack the robot and everything else they would need to drive to the competition. So a year of work by the team to create a robot out of thin air that could compete successfully had come down to this. My biggest worry was that something uh, would go wrong in one of the subsystems that would prevent us from getting any points whatsoever. So it's uh, a pretty complex system that requires perception and positioning and communications and fundamental software to be working under the hood that you don't even think of until it actually stops working. And it really only takes one or two of those things to start malfunctioning and the robot's useless. So we go into the contest with a very low score. It was two points, in fact. Chimp removed the first five pieces of debris as planned, but with 6.15 to go, while trying to remove the ninth piece of debris, Chimp caught it on a beam and dropped it. When he dropped the debris, it was a head and hands moment, and now you were feeling the butterflies and watching the clock. And this robot is somewhat autonomous. The operators tell it what to do and then it does it. He's really a robot that's meant to save the day. And it's inspired by the Fukushima uh, nuclear disaster where if someone had gone in and turned a single valve in the nuclear power plant, a uh, disaster would have been far lessened. You're hoping that they chose the right. You you're just you're, you don't see the operators. You have no communications with them. So it's it, this is your baby. You're just you're up there. You're rooting for it. And it drops the ball. You know it's the pop up and it misses it. Um, it was tense. It was exciting. Fantastic day.